This week we are dropping off some brand new bikes at Schools Around Hull as part of the Kid Alert programme. We are doing an unboxing with our Kids Takeover team of summer equipment and our coaches are taking part in a Catch and Clap Skills Challenge. My name's John and this is the First Step Sports Group Roundup. From Kid Alert we saw over 20 schools. Um, my name is Mr Monday, I teach Year 6 at South Coast Primary Academy in Hull. Hello, it's Megan from Kids Takeover. <laughs> From Kid Alert, we saw over 20 schools and seven partners come to Craven Park to go through all the safety features needed to keep the uh, year sixes safe for their summer. Obviously, there was a prize draw for those schools that came along. Southcoats were our first winner, so we are here today to drop off the bike for the lucky year six child. Um, my name is Mr Monday. I teach Year 6 at South Coast Primary Academy in Hull. Why do you think Kid Alert was a good event for your school to participate in? I thought it was really good because there were so many different activities and um, they've missed out on such a lot during lockdowns and it just really um, sort of gave them those, that, that safety information and um, like they've missed out on like pedestrian skills so we got seeing all those people was just it was fantastic because there was such a wide range and we wouldn't get that in one sort of day ordinarily. Did your pupils enjoy Kid Alert? They loved Kid Alert. They loved the Eggman. Um, <laughs> they were talking about everything that they'd done and all the things they'd seen, experienced, and they were telling us facts days and days after they'd been. It was fantastic. Finally, would you recommend Kid Alert to other schools? Absolutely. It's really, really great. Um, it was the first time I'd been on the trip um, as new to Year 6, but it was fantastic. I'd recommend it everyone. We are here at Belfield Primary School dropping off our second bike today. These are FOB bikes donated by Hull City Council. They're specially designed for children to ride safely so they can reach their brakes, reach the floor, reach the pedals, things like that. We are super glad to be dropping off at Belfield today because they have achieved some fantastic things in terms of mode shifts this year. They were our first bronze primary school, so a big well done to them. Uh, they've also uh, been taking part in some of our products such as Learn to Ride, Pre-Pedal, which is also fantastic as well creating that cycle path for children throughout school which is really really important. I'm Tracy Cowup, I'm the HLT at Belfield Primary School. Would you recommend Kid Alert to other schools? I would definitely recommend it to other schools because the children do get a lot out of it and our children were still talking about it days after we'd been to it. We are here for the last drop off for the Kid Alert bike just behind me at Parkstone Primary. Uh, they have received this free bike, helmet and lock just for attending Kid Alert. So they came for the day and we picked um, the name out of the hat and they were the lucky winners of this fantastic new frog bike. So congratulations to them. Hiya, I'm Laura Wallace and I'm assistant head teacher here at Parkstone Primary. Why did you think Kid Alert was a good event for your school to participate in? So it was a really practical experience for our year sixes. They were able to experience a range of different things that they do experience, for example, over the summer holidays and on to transition, but it made it more practical for them and they had expertise there as opposed to a teacher teaching a lesson in a classroom. It was really good. Did your school pupils enjoy Kid Alert? They did, they loved it. Yeah, they uh, came out buzzing, talking about the different events. And I think some of them had more experience than others in cert at certain things, so it really kind of, um, led up to the fire and rescue service uh, one for example some people were talking about how they knew a lot more about that now because of it so yeah it was great would you recommend kid alert to other schools definitely great experience everybody enjoyed it including the teachers so that is all rounded off we have dropped all four bikes off at the four schools so we went to Southcoats, Belfield, St Mary's Green and Martyrs and we are just finished off at Parkstone. It was fantastic to see all the teachers and the children really grateful for the bikes and hopefully we'll see them back 
for Kidworth next year. Lovely to see teachers and pupils appreciating their new frog bikes. We're now going to join Megan for some unboxing fun with Kids Takeover. Hello, it's Megan from Kids Takeover and today we're going to be doing some unboxing. We've had a huge order of equipment. Let's see what's in the box. It's so good. You're going to need to go get some scissors. Ugh. First box. We have some footballs. These are from Zealand are called Zealand footballs. So we've got them in lots of different sizes. So if your child is older, they'll have a bigger one. If they're smaller, they will have some small balls so everybody can get involved. Okay, next one. I feel like it's Christmas. All right, so in this one, oh, we've got lots of brand new badminton rackets. So we've got some yellow ones and I'm sure we've also got some red ones. Ooh. Woo! All right, let's see what's inside this bag of A brand new parachute for all of our parachute games that we've got going on. We're going to be doing this throughout the summer for kids to take over. But we won't be using that like, yeah, as a parachute would normally be used. So. No, no, no. That won't save your life. Don't jump out of a plane with that one. Let's see what's in the next box. Right, here we go. Oh, this is a good box. So, we have lots of things for our pirate day that we're going to be having at our kids' takeover camp. So we've got a pirate flag, we've got some masks, pirate hats. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the next box? Some flower garlands. So, we're going to be using these for our Moana day and our Encanto day. We've got a new game. This is going to be our bean toss for our Moana day. We've also got a blow up limbo stick. Woo! Let's see what's in. <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> and we have uh, some ice packs. Yeah, just in case anybody decides to jump out of the plane with that parachute, we've got you on the way down. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video of my unboxing for Kids Takeover. We hope to see you soon. Get booked on! <laughs> We're now all set for our Kids Takeover summer camps. The link to book these is in the description below. And now it's time for some office fun with the Catch and Clap Challenge. Here's mine. concludes our coach challenge for this week well done to morgan will rob and live on scoring seven there we've got joint winners this week and that's it for the episode unfortunately this week um, but if you keep an eye out in the next few weeks we're going to have our ktv roundup telling you everything that's going on at our camps uh, this summer and yeah thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.